My name is Janae. I am a graphic designer at Virginia Tech Printing Services. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to correctly pull a bleed in InDesign. But first, what is a bleed? A bleed is an extension of the file past the trim size. Or in other words, a bleed is part of the print that will be cut off. This ensures the print quality extends to the edge of the document when trimmed. Why do you need a bleed? You need a bleed whenever a printed element, for example a photo, our color graphic extends to the edge of the trimmed area. To pull a bleed in Adobe InDesign, open the file, then go to File and click Document Setup. Click More Options if needed, and then go down to Bleed and Slug. A typical bleed is 1 8 of an inch, or 0 0.125. To ensure all boxes of the bleed are filled, make sure the Link button is selected. Then click OK. This will create a red bleed border 1 8 of an inch around the document. Now we need to extend all the printed elements to that border. Top, right, bottom, left, and getting all the elements. After you create the bleeds in Adobe InDesign, you now need to save it as a PDF. To do this, go to File, and click export. Name the file what you want. Then make sure Adobe PDF print is selected and click save. In the export Adobe PDF dialog box, click high quality print. Then go down to marks and bleeds and select use document bleed settings. This ensures that the bleed settings that you just did in Adobe InDesign are carried over to the PDF and click export. This will give you a PDF file with the bleeds included and is ready for print. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing Virginia Tech Printing Services.